Hey, hey, party people. Let's talk about Scorpio. Welcome to another For Dummies episode. Just basic sign information, not literally for dummies or for dummies. I mean, either way it goes. But I'm going to talk about Scorpio tonight. Um, Tonight is Scorpio for dummies. I think the last video I did was Libra. So I think we hit Libra. So let's move on to Scorpio. So Scorpio would be the third of the water signs, my brethren, brethren, uh, you know, the water signs of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, going by the real Zodiac, where Zodiac really begins, which is Aries, they would be the second water sign with Cancer being the first and then Pisces uh, rounding out the bunch being the third. So um, I feel really comfortable talking about Scorpio. I've known... Um, I've known quite a few Scorpios, have hung with quite a few Scorpios. Um, never had like really any Scorpio best friends or anything, but just have like Scorpio friends, have talked to Scorpio guys. Really like Scorpios. Scorpios are um, fun people. Scorpios like to party and have a wild time and have a good time. Um, Scorpios are very deep feeling people. They're another one of the water signs. Uh, water, um, water kind of rules the emotions and the moods and the feeling. Um, when you think about water, you think about the ocean is very deep. Think about the planet. It's mostly made up of water. There's a lot under the surface of water. And I think Scorpio is a really good sign. And I think, I think Scorpio and can Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces are really good examples of of, of the ocean. It's like you, you, what you see on the surface, there's so much more depth, so much more feeling, so much more of a thought process in the inner world that is really processed through emotion. We think very intellectual people water signs. It's, it's not that they aren't intellectual. It's just like their function and the, the thoughts that they base their actions off of a lot of times are emotional thoughts. And a lot of times the logic and the mental, um, the mental reasoning doesn't always even out the thoughts. I know when I was younger, I used to react with emotion a lot of times. Like if I was feeling something or I was upset about something, I would immediately like destroy property or just do things from an emotional reaction instead of taking some time thinking about things and kind of like, you know, moving from a wiser standpoint. And Scorpio can be the same way. The difference in Scorpio is Scorpio, they are, they are there, they are ride or die type of sign. You know, a Scorpio is going to fight to the death, their death, deaths, they're going to be there for their friends. Um, but I feel like Scorpio can have somewhat of a self-centered nature. Um, Scorpio, they are givers. If you need something, they will give, they will do, they are generous and they are kind. But I, I personally feel like from my experiences with Scorpios, they definitely expect something back in return. Or even if they don't expect anything specifically back for the things that they did for you, you know, they 